Fortnite Squad. Fortnite Season 7 might have just started, but we know Epic Games is always hiding some things in plain sight and they've got plenty of tricks up their sleeves. Chances are there are actually plenty of secrets on the Fortnite map right now that we haven't even found yet, including some special hints towards the potential theme of Season 8 in Fortnite Battle Royale, and maybe even the possibility of the Fortnite map going underwater, which we'll actually be talking about later on in this video. Welcome back to the Simply Viral channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe with your channel notifications turned on so that you never miss another upload. And if you guys are enjoying Fortnite Season 7 so far, drop a like on this video, it would be much appreciated. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at 7 hints towards the Season 8 theme here in Fortnite Battle Royale. Number 1, The Season 8 Launch Thanks to Epic Games announcing the end date of Season 7 when the update for the Season 7 launch went live, we know exactly when Season 8 of Fortnite Battle Royale is actually going to start. According to Epic Games, Season 7 will be ending on February 28th of 2019, meaning that the very last day of February we will see the launch of Season 8. Now, since we have a wintry theme for Fortnite Season 7, it would make a lot of sense to see a spring theme or an island revamp for Season 8. While the 28th of February 2019 is the official start of Season 8, Season 8 will be running right through the start of the spring season, which begins on March 20th of 2019. This would probably mean we'll see the iceberg melt and a new season arise on the Fortnite island, creating the perfect chance to have a spring theme for Fortnite Season 8. Number 2. Time Travel Time travel has been a very hot topic in the Fortnite community, and maybe Season 8 is finally going to be the season that includes time jumps and the ability to travel throughout the past, present, and future of the Fortnite universe. It'd actually be pretty cool to see a theme of the past be featured one week, and then next week something causes the map to time travel into the future, and vice versa. Now of course there has to be something hinting towards this on the Season 7 map, right? Well, it kinda is vague, but it's definitely possible. Located just outside of Fatal Fields in the Desert Biome, there is actually a mountain which features a peculiar set of objects set up in such a way to resemble a sundial. Perhaps this odd way to tell time is teasing the potential of time travel in a future season. And I'm just saying, who wouldn't want a time jump for every weekly update? I personally think that would be super cool. Number 3. Underwater Mayhem As we all know, currently the Fortnite island has a huge portion of it covered with ice and snow as a result of the iceberg colliding with the island at the launch of Fortnite Season 7. However, that iceberg is going to melt eventually. I mean, come on, we've all seen Ice Age the Meltdown, we know what's gonna happen here. So, gather your acorns and prepare for a flood, because if and when the iceberg melts, there is a pretty high chance that we're gonna see the Fortnite map get completely flooded and partially submerged. If a flood were to happen on the Fortnite map, obviously, gameplay would change a ton. Perhaps we could even see the addition of some boats and jet skis as usable vehicles. Who knows, maybe we'll even see some surfboards that we could manually use, sort of like how we have shopping carts in the game right now. Maybe we'll even have the ability to find and equip some scuba gear that could potentially allow players to breathe underwater in longer increments and fully allow for us to traverse the submerged depths of the Fortnite map. Honestly, I could totally dig a flooded Fortnite map, and I think it'd be pretty cool to see the aftermath of the melted iceberg. Not to mention, there's also currently a giant submarine sitting atop one of the ice mountains in the iceberg biome, so if all that ice does melt, maybe we'll even get to use a submarine here on the Fortnite map. Now that would be pretty crazy. Number 4. The Ultimate Food Fight We all know about the Food Fight Limited Time mode that we've seen in the past seasons of Fortnite Battle Royale, and honestly, it was a ton of fun and a pretty goofy way to align with your favorite Fortnite food chain. But what about a whole season dedicated to the ongoing Fortnite food fight? At the end of Season 6, we actually saw the addition of the Tender Defender skin adding another food chain to the Fortnite island. And apparently, players have actually found an image of Mr. Tomato Head and the Tomato Temple hidden inside of the Polar Peak Castle. So for Season 8 of Fortnite Battle Royale, could we possibly be getting the ultimate battle for food superiority with a season-long food fight? I mean, we've seen heroes versus villains, but what about chicken versus beef versus pizza? And who knows? Maybe the taco shop will eventually get their own mascot too, and then we can have a four-way battle to the death 
for Fortnite food superiority. Now this is something that I would definitely be into. Number five, medieval warfare. I'm no history buff, but castles seem to be a thing of the past in terms of modern day architecture. I mean, I don't see anyone going out there right now trying to build a brick castle for style. However, if we were in medieval times, castles would be all the rage. And thanks to the addition of Polar Peak with the launch of Season 7, we currently have two castles sitting on the Fortnite map. The one up by Haunted Hills and of course, like I just said, the Polar Peak Frozen Castle. However, that Frozen Castle is eventually going to thaw out over time and perhaps all these castles popping up out of seemingly nowhere is hinting towards a medieval theme coming for Season 8. Now, some of you may argue we already had a medieval theme with Season 3 in the Black Knight Battle Pass. However, the map seems to become a very big focal point for theme targeting, and that's something we didn't really see with the Squire and Black Knight skins back in Season 3. So maybe in Season 8 we'll be getting a map full of castles and horses and all sorts of crazy medieval items. Number 6, The Apocalypse. The Fortnite Island is no stranger to near doomsday scenarios. I mean, we had evil villains, led by none other than the Blockbuster skin himself, trying to destroy the entire Fortnite island with the rocket launch a few seasons back. And then we had a mysterious cube flatten half the island before corrupting another good portion of it. And I think it's safe to say that the Fortnite island will never truly be out of harm's way, and perhaps some of the island's own residents believe that as well, and they're trying to prepare for the end of times on the Fortnite map. We all know about these secrets that Wailing Woods holds beneath it in the form of various bunkers, one accessible and one not. If you currently visit the underground bunker in Wailing Woods, you'll find a handful of teleportation portals that lead you around the nearby cabins and other tunnels of the bunker, but it definitely seems like the work going on inside of said bunker is not yet complete, and perhaps the tunnels will soon be expanded and maybe we'll finally get an answer as to what the other random bunker has been doing on the island this whole time. I swear, the original Fortnite bunker has been on the map since like what, season 3 or season 4? It's been here forever it seems like, and since then, it's done absolutely nothing. You can't go inside of it, you can't break it, nothing has really changed with it this whole time, and trust me, no one places a bunker anywhere just to look at it. So, for season 8, I see no better way to finally solve the bunker mystery than giving it the doomsday preparation protocol and saying that it was created to be a safe space for when the world inevitably starts to fall apart. And speaking of the Fortnite world falling apart, that leads us to number 7. Number 7, A Whole New World. I'm just gonna give it to you guys straight. The Fortnite world is the greatest example of a catastrophe that I could possibly give you. When it storms, electric and acidic rain falls from the sky and kills anyone who spends too much time in it. A rocket launch nearly destroyed the island and a massive rift once obstructed the sky. And to top it all off, a mysterious and unknown cube came and flattened various parts of the island and corrupted massive chunks of land before combusting and vanishing before our very eyes. And then out of nowhere, a huge iceberg came along and ran into the island. I'm telling you guys, the end is nigh and with it, the end of the original Fortnite Island. This isn't to say Fortnite is ending after Season 7, but rather the story of the current Fortnite map will be coming to a conclusion. Perhaps Season 8 is finally going to be the season where we get a brand new map introduced here in Fortnite Battle Royale. It's been a pretty controversial topic for quite some time now. A lot of people do like the fact that we only have one Fortnite map. But at the same time, a lot of people are kind of getting bored with the current Fortnite map, despite the fact that it is constantly changing and evolving before our eyes each and every update. Overall though, Fortnite is one of the few Battle Royale games that only has one map and is stuck true to that one map since its launch, and that really does set it apart from other Battle Royales. But at some point, the original Fortnite Island it, it can't change anymore, right? Like, at least that's what I would think. You'd hit a limit at some point to the changes that could happen to the map. Or maybe we can't. I mean, it is Epic Games, after all. Like I said at the very beginning of the video, it seems like Epic does always have some tricks up their sleeves. And maybe, for the entirety of Fortnite Battle Royale, we will end up having just one map. Who knows? Whenever Fortnite Battle Royale does actually end, we could see the same map from start to finish with just simple evolutions and changes happening to it throughout that time span. Or perhaps with Season 8, we'll be getting a brand new map for Fortnite players to explore. But with that being said, today's video is effectively over. Thank you guys once again so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to give us a big old thumbs up, slap that like button, it would be much appreciated. And if you're brand new here to the channel, be sure to go ahead and subscribe with your channel notifications turned on so you never miss another upload. 
Until next time, guys, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you on the Battle Bus. Peace out. Thank you.